It's so important to clean out your saxophone after every practice session. You want to clean out your mouthpiece, you want to clean out your neck, you want to clean out the body of the sax. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it and what you should be using to clean each of these parts of the saxophone. The first thing you need is one of these. This is a mouthpiece and neck swab and it's a little string with a bit of cloth on the end and that's because you want to be able to put the string through the mouthpiece and pull it through like this. So these are actually specifically designed for woodwind instruments, for the clarinet, for the saxophone and you can get them anywhere online but this is a really important thing to have if you want to keep your mouthpiece clean get rid of any of that gunk that's built up and get rid of all that saliva that's built up as well. So it's really important to get one of these and if you want to get all my recommendations for different cleaning supplies like this, check out my free Ultimate Saxophone Buyer's Guide. There's a link below this video or just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash guide and I give you all my recommendations for cleaning supplies, for mouthpieces, for saxophones, for saxophone stands, for reed cases, everything. So it's all inside that guide. Now I'm going to talk more about how to clean the rest of the saxophone as well but before I do my name is Alexander Mathias from saxophonemasterclass.com and on this channel I teach you everything you need to know about how to learn and master the sax. So go ahead and subscribe and like this video if you're enjoying it so far. And so once you have one of these mouthpiece and neck cloths you want to actually clean out your mouthpiece after every single practice session. So you want to actually take off the mouthpiece, take off the ligature, take off the reed and make sure that there's nothing on the mouthpiece so that you can put the cloth through once or twice to clean out all the gunk. You want to even try to clean inside the mouthpiece here and get rid of anything if it didn't fully get it out and you want to clean around the mouthpiece as well. It's really important to do this after every single practice session in order to not let that gunk build up, in order to not let that saliva build up. If you're getting that spitty sound in your mouthpiece, you might want to take the mouthpiece off, take the reed off and do this process of cleaning with this cloth. Now some people try to use tissue paper or they might use another cloth they have at home but this is the most effective way to clean the mouthpiece. And not only that, this cloth works for the neck as well. You don't want to start putting other types of cloth through the neck. You don't want to put tissue paper into the neck because it might actually get stuck inside the neck and you won't be able to get it out. So that's why they design these cloths. They're specifically designed to put the string in the wider end of the neck to go through to the smaller end of the neck. And then you just pull it through once or twice after every cleaning session. It gets out all the gunk, it gets out all the spit, but don't put it in the opposite way because it's not going to capture the moisture as well as if you put it in through the bigger end of the neck. So again, put it through the big end of the neck, let the string come out and pull it through once or twice after every practice session. So check out my Ultimate Saxophone Buyer's Guide below or go to saxophonemasterclass.com if you want all my recommended products for cloths like this for the neck and mouthpiece as well as body swabs like this one. This is another great swab that goes in the rest of the saxophone and the way this works is that there's actually a weight at the end of the cloth. So we just put that weight into the bell of the sax and make sure that the body cloth is for your saxophone. This is specifically designed for the alto sax and when you shake it around you can turn it upside down and the weight will fall out of the other end of the sax. And remember, don't put it in the thinner end. Put it in the wider end first and pull it through gently like that. Okay. Make sure you have the alto cloth, not the tenor cloth, not the baritone cloth. Because if the cloth is too big, it might end up getting stuck in your saxophone. So remember, weight goes into the bell. Shake it around. Put it inside turn it around, try to get it on this side of the bell here, turn it around, upside down, pull it through and that is how you clean your body of the saxophone 
with one of these cloths. Super simple, super effective. Again, I recommend these specific products inside my Ultimate Saxophone Buyer's Guide. And I even give you links to where you can buy those products as well. So there are three things that you need to think about when you're cleaning the saxophone. You need to clean the mouthpiece, you need to clean the neck, and you need to clean out the body of the saxophone after every practice session, after every playing session, if you want to keep it clean and not have gunk build up inside. I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. Remember, get my Ultimate Saxophone Buyer's Guide. There's a link below. Just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash guide. And if you are a beginner on a saxophone, still trying to figure out your first notes, still trying to figure out how to play your first songs, check out this lesson here. This is going to give you some great advice on what you need to be thinking about as a beginner saxophone player. All right, my friend, until next time, have a great day, have a great week, and happy playing.